This video is brought to you by Shirts. Shirts, I have them now. What's going on everyone, welcome back to another wrong build. This time I'm doing Manga Toshiro and it's probably the most requested wrong build out of any of the other wrong builds. As soon as I started making this show, people started requesting Manga Toshiro. And after doing this, I totally get it. Because normally, under other circumstances, I would usually just do a wrong build on a character whose, uh, I don't know, whose strong attacks or normal attacks are kind of unique such as White Day Stark. I really like his normal attack, so I decided to do a wrong build on that. But in this one, it seemed kind of uh, basic to me until I tried it out and I realized his normal attack is actually really, really fast for a character who's strong attack based, whether it's strong attack damage or strong attack recharge. But dang, his normal attack is really fast and it actually has really good reach. Now, I can't really tell the reach on that final strike. Um, obviously, it makes ice stick out of the ground, but I'm not sure if that's the actual reach or not. Still, it looks really cool. It's got really good reach, and his normal attacks don't go to waste. Now, if he, I mean, his strong attacks, I guess, don't go to waste, even though his uh, SP is at zero. Now, like I said, his SP is at zero. His, he's chappied. It's, it's the highest I could take his attack, um, and his strong attacks still do a decent amount of damage. Some of the bigger guys, like that guy, didn't kill him. I did have to rely on him a few times just to break guards, like you saw there. Um, but for the most part, you know, they were useful in taking out some of the smaller enemies. He does have Frenzy, so that actually does count, since the attacks hit twice. They don't do that much damage, but it's still very useful. As you can see, I'm already in the boss fight. This, I think this is the fastest I've ever cleared this room. I don't go around just, you know, doing the Sajin raid all the time, but this is definitely a fast... Uh, a faster, uh, one of the faster ones I've ever done for this, uh, for Sajin, and it worked out really well. You can see here, you're about to see the time, I think, after he knocks him out. I really don't know why I used, uh, I didn't skip the special considering it didn't do that much damage, but you'll see here, and assuming I don't die, there we go. So, you know, overall, good amount of damage, uh, 6k, 7k, I believe I saw a few times there. Um, I do end up switching over. Uh, like, like I usually do with these videos. See, that's the record time right there for me. Um, like I usually do with these videos, I do end up switching over to a secondary build. The next one, I don't use a Chappie. I swap it out with a uh, Captain's Robe. It still has 30 attack, so it's still up there. It's still more than 100% attack, but I did switch it out. I think everything else I left the same. I just wanted to see how this build would do um, if I kept my strong attacks without, you know, zero SP. So I did use him here just to kind of get it out of the way, but you can see my normal attack is still dealing a good amount of damage, anywhere from 5,000 to 6,000 damage. I think it goes up a little bit once the uh, once the actual combo goes up a bit, but it's it's still really fun. I don't know, I don't remember that I beat the record on this one. I don't think I beat my previous time, believe it or not. I think the other time, the straight up nat was actually faster. Obviously, if I was using a strong attack recharge or strong attack damage, that would probably beat it out, but this is, you know, this is another way to play this character. I really love how fast this normal attack is, and I wish I would have experimented with this a little bit sooner, considering this character's been out for, uh, for a little while now. But still, you can see there, strong attacks didn't go to waste. Um, in hindsight, it might have been a good idea to try a Senkaimon build for this character, even if I just kept the, uh, the normal attack up, in fact, it just kept the attack up. Uh, because that way with some Kaimon Aizen, you still get the 20% attack, 20% attack, 20% attack. You lose 15% on the attack, but you would still have the other 60% on the strong attack damage, um, even if the SP wasn't increased by anything. But I think the boss is coming up. Yeah, the boss is coming up. I believe I use my special again, and obviously it's going to do a little bit more damage this time since uh, my SP isn't at zero. Um, but yeah, this this is just another way to play this character. Um, a lot more fun than I actually thought it was gonna be. I wouldn't really recommend this build for, uh, I don't know, for some of the tougher things. I think it would be obviously way better to play this character the way it was supposed to be. But if you're going to do like, you know, if you, if you, if you really like this character and you wanna give it a shot, I would do it in some of the solo stuff, some of the solo um, inheritance zones or droplet zones. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know what other characters you want to see in a wrong build. I do kind of want to do another wrong build for the movie Toshiro, so be on the lookout for that as we progress through Toshiro week. Thank you guys for watching, and take care.